Hey guys! So I'm finally doing the 90s kids survey. So the ages I were um, in the 90s was age 2 to 11. So my entire childhood before I became a teenager or a preteen was in the 90s. The first one is favorite TV show. Favorite TV shows. I had a lot of them growing up. Of course when you're really little you like the stuff like Barney, um, I watched Sesame Street a lot. Um, one of my favorite favorite shows that I actually had a pair of sheets were a uh, pair, <laughs> a pair of sheets um, of is called Rainbow Bright. And every time I mention that to someone, no one knows what I'm talking about. But it was a show of like a little girl who used to come down from the rainbow, and she'd take these two kids and they'd go on adventures on her white horse. So. I don't know, I really, really liked it. Um, it was one of my favorite, favorite shows. Um, probably when I was like four, maybe? I don't know, I was pretty young. Um, I watched a lot of like the basic channels. When I was really, really little, we didn't get cable until I was much older, like around 11, 12 or so. Um, so yeah, I watched most, mostly basic stuff, but my favorite show I think was um, Rainbow Bright. Number two, favorite toys. I was obsessed with Barbies <laughs> growing up. I had all kinds of Barbies. Each year since we didn't celebrate holidays, we'd have a huge like toy party, we call it, and we'd have some family members and whatnot, and eat the entire year my mom and my family members would just keep buying like little things, and mostly they would buy me is Barbies and baby dolls. So I had a lot of them, and then after my cousin kind of grew up, she gave me a whole load of her Barbies and a bunch of accessories and clothes and all that stuff. Just really fun stuff that I used to love to play with. So probably my favorite was um, Barbies and baby dolls. Um, but I also had those like side stuff. I got a Furby from my cousin which freaked me out so bad because it one night started talking and saying, play with me. So that freaked me out so bad that I had to you know, give it away. Um, I did play with stuff like Sky Dancers. Um, those are a huge thing. And I also like to play with those little, like, not the Tamagotchi. I never got, actually got the full, like, the actual Tamagotchi. I got one that was called a Nano, and it was a horse. I really liked that one, because I liked horses a lot. Um, oh, and I got one, I don't know the brand of it, um, but it could stand up, it had like little feet at the bottom so you could have it stand, um, and it was supposed to be like the shape of like Reptar because it was, um, um, Rugrats, and you had like the little babies and stuff, so you could take care of like which baby you want, or I think you take care of two, I don't know, I think you chose which baby you wanted to take care of. I actually think I still have... Um, that one, the Rugrat one, and the Nano one somewhere, either here or at my mom's house. But yeah, those are a lot of fun. Those are like your mini computers before you actually, you know, got the whole computer thing. Favorite commercials? Um, I don't know. As a kid, you don't really look at commercials. Like those are the times you kind of get up and go get a snack or play or whatnot, and then you sit down and watch your show. Um, but if I have to say favorite commercials would probably just be the, the toy commercials because those are the ones I actually like watched. Um, you know, of course, all kids want to watch, you know, the toy commercials. So yeah, probably them. And I don't think I have like a favorite. Um, I think, like I said, I probably just, I geared toward more like what I was into at that time, like Barbies and whatnot. NSYNC or Backstreet Boys? I was into them both. I think part of me was more into the Backstreet Boys at one point, and then I started liking NSYNC a little bit more. Um, I don't know why. I would just go back and forth a lot, but yeah, I think I like them both pretty much equally, but yeah, that kind of grew out fast because I, I got kind of bored of the whole boy, boy, boy band thing. Weirdest fashion trend. Um... Okay, probably I think the weirdest trend because I see pictures of myself when I'm a little kid and even my mom says now <laughs> that that was kind of weird, but she used to dress me up in the big kind of sweaters that had like um, different characters on it or they were just, you know, pretty flowers or whatnot. 
Um, the big sweaters with the huge bows that you had, like if you had your hair braided or whatnot, it was just like the huge bow. Um, I don't mind bows now, but when it's like this massive bow, like sticking on the top of your head, like your Minnie Mouse, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, every time I see pictures of me like that, I'm like, why did you dress me in that? Um, another one that I hated and I still hate today is turtlenecks. I could not stand them. I didn't like the feel of them. They drove me insane. They made me feel like I was choking and I still won't wear them today. Whether it's cold out or not, I'll get a scarf or whatnot. I don't even think people wear them, but yeah. Those two probably, or those three, yeah, were probably the ones that I really hated in the 90s. Favorite collectibles? Um, well, I collected a few different things, so I guess you could say Barbies were collectibles because I had a lot of them. Um, oh, Beanie Babies were a huge thing. I didn't actually buy them myself. I bought a few of them, like my mom bought a few of them for me, but my grandmother um, on my dad's side would send tons of them to me and I used to love them so much. I took such good care of them. I had the little protectors on the tags and I would have them placed all through my room. Um, those were like a huge thing. I actually have one right here. Um, this was actually one of my favorites. Um, actually, I think there's a question that says, I won't say that yet. Yeah, so I still have a few Beanie Babies just because they're kind of like sentimental to me as um, growing up because they're from my grandmother um, who is on my dad's side, like I said, and I don't see her very often. So um, there's a few of them that I kept, but yeah, that was um, something I collect. So probably that and Barbies because other than that, I just, I got rid of toys like crazy. I was always give, getting rid of some and then, you know, I'd get more. So I don't know. As, you're, as a kid, it's hard um, to collect things. Actually, a huge thing that I think I still have, I have a lot of like little things that um, remind me of when I was a kid, but do you guys remember Pogs? <laughs> Those were so huge. They were like these little um, kind of cardboard round shapes and they had like laminated different characters on the front or different pictures and you would set them up in like a pile and you had this thing, um, what was it called? It was like a metal a metal piece that had like um, different colors and, and pictures on it and you would flip it just right or flick it and it would you have to knock over um, the stack of them and if you knocked over the other person's stack or something you get some of theirs I don't know it was a game if you guys remember it please leave a comment below um, if you used to have them because those are those are massive those are huge and I don't remember hearing too many people talk about them um, online for the survey. So if you remember them, let me know. Cause um, favorite Beanie Baby. Okay, so this was probably my favorite Beanie Baby um, out of all of them, just because the story behind it and the name as well. Um, so her name is Ariel. <laughs> which of course that's my name so I as a kid I was like oh you know finally there wasn't too much stuff with my name on it unless it had the little mermaid so I was excited that it was something that wasn't the little mermaid uh, I mean don't get me wrong I love the Disney princesses I loved Ariel um, the little mermaid but you know when you're a little kid and everyone's like oh you know you're a mermaid and all that stuff um, you just kind of get sick of it so you want something different um, with your name on it but I really like this one um, and the story behind it is there was this famous 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 couple that had a child and I think the mother had cancer so when she had the baby um, which they named Ariel, she had cancer as well or something along that lines. It was a cancer or AIDS or whatnot um, and the little girl died. So it just a sad story but they made this teddy bear in honor of her so I just thought that was really sweet. Um, kind of sad story but I just feel like it's really sweet that they made you know a beanie baby honoring her and this was a picture that she drew um, in, I don't know, I think it was one of her last little pictures she drew, but she was only five, so, but yeah, I just, I think that's always, you know, cute. Um, how many Tamagotchis did you go through? Okay, so like I said, I never actually had a full, like the actual Tamagotchi, it was never like the, you know, original 
Tamagotchi. It was always, um, like I said, I had the Nano one. I think I had another one that was a, you know, cheap brand. It wasn't anything, um, crazy. But, um, I don't, I didn't go through them a lot. I had three of them, I think, total. And I kept them. I never, I never, they never broke. I didn't have to buy any, you know, when they died, I could just, um, reset it and get, um, a new horse or, or whatever it was so I didn't go through them a lot so so the next question is favorite Disney Channel original movie hmm I don't know if I had a favorite I was really excited when I don't know if you guys remember watching Even Stevens um, I really liked the Even Stevens movie um, but I don't know if that came out in the 90s or not I don't know. I didn't have cable too much growing up. I didn't get it until I, probably about 11 or 12, I think. Maybe a little older. I might have been I might have been 14, but we didn't get um, cable till later on. So a lot of the stuff I watched was um, just the basic stuff, uh, basic channels, or sometimes I'd watch it at my cousin's house. Um, some of the Disney stuff. So I don't know. I can't really answer that because I didn't really have cable when I was that little. Favorite music artist? Um, well, I was huge into, of course, the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, um, like most little girls were. Um, oh, one huge one that I think I was more into than the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC was Hanson. They were like, <laughs> the best thing, like, ever. I used to love them so much. I'd get the magazines, like the little um, bop or pop um, magazines. I think they still have them today, but I used to get them and I used to only get the ones that had Hanson in it because I just loved reading about them and my favorite was the drummer. I, I had a huge crush on, crush on him and I don't know. I just, I really liked them a lot and then it faded after a while because they got kind of boring. They didn't really do too many albums, but but yeah, I was huge into them, so I guess I'll say that one was my favorite um, artist or music artist. All right, favorite Nick Jr. show. Um, so like I said, I didn't really have cable when I was younger, but um, probably yeah, I think I got cable when I was about the end of the end of the '90s. So yeah, I mean, because I did watch stuff like Doug, um, Rugrats. Which, yeah, that was on Nick Jr., yeah. <laughs> um, probably just stuff like that. I didn't, I mean, I watched TV growing up, but I was a huge, like, outdoorsy type girl. I was always running outside, um, and always outside, like, nonstop. So, um, and since we didn't have, really have cable, um, yeah, I was mostly outside. <laughs> Favorite candy. I was huge into gummies, um, I always liked Twix growing up, Twix was, um, big for me, um, yeah, I, I really liked gummies a lot, oh, another candy that I always, there was like an older man that used to live in my apartment complex, he was really nice, and he'd always have those, like, you know those pink kind of chalky type candies, there was a pink one that tasted, um, almost like Pepto-Bismo, uh, kind of, um, and then they had, like, a white version was just regular mint, and I love the pink ones so much, like, my grandmother, it's like all old people used to have them, but my grandmother used to have them around, and then this older gentleman, um, that lived in my neighborhood, and I don't know, I just, I really like them, so every time I would see my grandmother or, um, this older guy, I would always, like, ask for him. So, I guess that would be my favorite candy. Um, but I was a huge candy, um, a huge candy kid. Like, I loved candy. This one. Favorite game? Um, and it says board game, school game, etc. So, I don't know. I played so many board games. Um... I liked Candyland, I think, just because, of course, if you're a kid, you know, you imagine being in a land of candy, that would be pretty awesome. Um, played so many games growing up, like all the card, different types of card games, 
Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Scrabble. I always Scrabble always frustrated me because I felt like it was so boring. It wasn't exciting enough. Um, played Life a lot. Life was a huge one that I liked a lot. Um, that we played quite a bit actually. Oh, I know a huge game that I was that I used to love. Oh, what is it called? A message down below and let me know because um, oh, I used to love that game so much. I played that a lot in school. That was like one of my favorite games. Uh, favorite McDonald's Happy Meal toy. So I had a lot of Happy Meal toys. Um, not just because we we didn't really go out to eat a lot, um, but. I don't know, like I, every time we went, like I had to get a toy, but I had a good few of them and then they just, they're so cheap so they just disappear, but I don't remember, oh, I know one that I really, really liked, I actually ended up, um, like, it was one of my favorites and it was only because the movie was pretty big, but it was, um, what is it, Men in Black? Yeah, Men in Black, um, the Alien movie with Will Smith and whatnot. I think probably that was my favorite toy out of all of them. <laughs> favorite book? Oh, my favorite book was... It was like black and white. And it was more of poetic. It was more poems and whatnot. Um, so it was called Where the Sidewalk Ends. <laughs> like, there's two of them. It's kind of like different, um, the art in it is very different, I don't know, I, I used to love them, I used to sit there in school and just read them over and over, um, and both of them, there was two of them, like I said, I used to read them both over and over. Another book that I used to love in, um, I think it was like 5th grade or 6th grade, um, so near the end of the 90s, but it's called, so this is the book, it's up Tuck and the Rotten Willy. Oh, I love this book so much. Alright, so the next one. Favorite clothing store. Okay, so as a kid, I wasn't really huge into clothing. Um, well, I was and I wasn't. Um, we shopped mostly at Ames and Walmart and, you know, stuff like that. Just because you grow out of clothes so fast. So I didn't really have a favorite store until I got into my early teens, like 14, 15, um, is when I started getting in more into like clothes and stuff. But I think as a kid, if I can remember, I really liked Ames because when I did have to pick out stuff, they had the stuff that um, I felt looked the cutest. So probably Ames. What would you watch when you'd when you would get home from school? I would watch, um, actually I didn't watch stuff when, unless it was the winter, I didn't go straight to the TV, um, most, most days I didn't go straight to the TV, I would either quickly do my homework, so I would get it done, because that was kind of like a big thing for my mom, like she wanted to make sure we had our homework done and then go out and play. The a huge outdoor child, like I love being outdoors, and we lived in like kind of a country area, like a neighborhood with, um, it was like an ap apartment complex with different apartment buildings, so there was a lot of kids there and stuff, so we'd always go outside and me and my brother would, you know, just play for hours and hours. huge into gaming console as I grew up because I like early on um, I can't remember what age but we got the first like Nintendo so of course you know you have to play Mario <laughs> and that's why I really like this shirt because it just you know reminds me of my childhood because we used to just play Mario all the time uh, we also used to play like that um, gun gun game yeah that sounds really good for a kid, um, duck hunter or duck hunt, something like that, where you had like the gun and you had to like shoot the um, ducks like you're going hunting. So I really liked that game, but I think I played Mario more. Um, and then I had pretty much almost every console you can think of, um, besides like some of the little side ones. Um, we we had Sega, we had um, 
you know, the Nintendo, we had a PlayStation, we've had Xboxes. So growing up, I played a lot of video games like Crash Bandicoot, um, Spyro. I played um, all kinds of the Mario games, the Yoshi game. Um, I played... Um, But yeah, all the the games that you can possibly think of for Nintendo and everything, I used to play all of them. And um, I mean, like I said, like I, I we didn't play that stuff like a lot to the point where you know we were just inside playing games. But because um, we're mostly outside. But yeah, I I loved my video games. So that is it for the questions. I hope that um, you enjoyed this something a little different, and I hope that you do the tag as well or the survey and um, kind of bring back some memories of when you were a child if you were born in the 90s or you know grew up in the 90s and I hope that you're all doing well and you have great fantastic weather because lately it's been so beautiful here and I'm so excited I just love it um, and yeah so I'll talk to you guys later and let you guys know more about um, my schedule for work and all that stuff and all right I'll talk to you guys later <laughs> bye